The reason that I'm blind is because a gypsy woman cursed me. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna have fun with this. The wheelchair and iPad and headwind mm. don't define who I am. But bam. <laughs> I'm John Scott. I live in um, Atawai Nelson. I have autism and I think I was diagnosed on like toddler two. I, I don't know the exact time frame. It was like around when I was very really young though. Autism is a different way of your brain um, of thinking, so it's nothing completely unusual. It's just we learn things differently, and social skills are a bit slower than the average neuro neurotypical person would learn it. I've got my room again, not the most glamorous. Blu-ray and DVD collection, and my Funko Pop Pop vinyl collection. There's more behind it, but I don't want to take everything apart. And those are the ones I just got today. The Alien Covenant, Daniels, uh, Hank Pym Unmasked from Marvel's Ant-Man the Wasp, and Janet Van Dyne Unmasked from also Ant-Man the Wasp. And then we've got my ensuite bathroom over here. Again, not very really glamorous. Here we've got the lounge slash dining room. And then we've got my gaming space here. I just got a achievement I've been working on um, for most of the day. I like that about the gaming community and gaming online is uh, you wouldn't um, be able to meet the certain amount of people, the people that I have met without that in place. I've made a quite a number of friends online. It's a um, circle of friends, if you will. I'm frequent contact with them through Facebook or Snapchat or Instagram. I don't have a group of friends here in Nelson and I don't really go out that often to make a circle of friends in real life. My ideal week is like doing gardening, um, doing getting the support worker on work broker coming on the days that they come and oh. doing what I like when I like really. The radio show at Fish FM I got into because um, I used to go to Garen College in Richmond back in 2016. Um, and my media studies teacher, Robin Birch, um, suggested I get, get into that. And um, I've been doing it since 2016. Radio show entails um, any piece of art that I decide to um, review or scene from um, a piece of art. Films, video games, and TV shows are usually, because I've been doing it for over five years, I've got a little bit burnt out of just reviewing films. So I have been just doing like song analysis. I think it was last week I did that. Um, or scene analysis. What drew me to analyzing is I kind of naturally already kind of do it. And the, technically there's no right or wrong way to approach because People um, like have different criteria for um, what they deem as good or ba bad in quotation marks. Um, some people prefer a better story than, like, people may say that visuals are more important than the story or vice versa. I'm just getting ready to go radio. I just gotta go catch the, the bus. I uh, just got my backpack there with my laptop in for radio. And then got my umbrella, and I'm gonna head outside in the rain. Here's Fish FM. And there's the recording booth on from the outside. Say hi, Matt. Are you gonna be ready to be more famous than you are? Hi, John. Hello, Max. Hello, John. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to John's Media Show. But basically, how I put together this show is um, I have an intro. Uh, talk about how I critique um, any pieces of art. Then I go um, yeah, into my rating systems um, for the pieces of art specifically. So for films, I use popcorns because it's what you eat when you go to the cinema. For video games, I use video game controllers because you usually play video games with video game controllers, and for TV shows I use televisions, because that's only what you watch TV shows on. 
And the secret rating system is that um, is basically a sliding scale of um, you shouldn't bother watching this or playing this to you should buy it and play it or watch it over and over again because it's that great. 